Okay. Hey everybody. Um, I'm going to make another nebulizer video. I just feel like I left out some important information about how to make 0.9% saline, which you can probably Google, but I mean, and how to dilute it with the hydrogen peroxide and which you can store in the refrigerator and just measure out, um, how much you want to nebulize straight up, you know, into a container. So like something like this on your medicine cup that you get from the drugstore, it like it's on your NyQuil and Robitussin bottles. You can save that and then just, you know, most nebulizer um, volumes, the reservoirs will only hold about this much anyway, the 10 milliliters. So you don't need much. You don't need to make much. So I've been acquiring my 0 0.9 saline from these things, but you don't really have to use that and there's an easier way to make your saline at home much easier way <laughs> and don't worry i had my work checked by a physicist who used to work at um, boeing and the answer is readily available on google anyway so you take a kitchen scale and i actually thought mine only measured in kilograms and pounds but it does measure in grams so just don't go out and buy anything on amazon so you check <laughs> don't make that mistake so you turn it on and then you want to measure to make um, 1,000 milliliters, zero that out, to make 1,000 milliliters of 0.9% saline, it's nine grams of sea salt or kosher salt to um, 1,000 milliliters of distilled water. You can see it sounds like a lot, but it's not. Oh. So here is um, my sea salt and my scale. And then this is a little measuring spoon for half a teaspoon. You'll see why this is very helpful. I discovered this on accident. So you'll find that exactly three of these equals nine grams. Three grams a spoon, half a teaspoon. How convenient is that? Perfect. That's amazing. So then, then I put my nine grams of salt, I should have used another color bowl, huh? Into this little pitcher that holds, looks to hold about a liter. And then I put my 1,000 milliliters of distilled water in there. And you don't have to use all of it. You know, it's, this doesn't come out to that much. So 1,000 milliliters or one liter of distilled water is four cups. This is a two cup cup. So I'm gonna use two of these. I think distilled water is one of those great things to stock up on. And so far, it doesn't appear to be too expensive. Still about a dollar a gallon. And same with hydrogen peroxide. Okay, so this is one liter of distilled water. And then you, you, you wanna have something in there like a long spoon or something to stir it up because you want it to get clear. And then when it is all mixed up, sea salt or kosher salt will mix really clear in the water. Whereas table salt, oh, my arm's heavy. Whereas table salt, oh, my arm's tired. Whereas table salt will, will have like impurities in there. You don't wanna nebulize that. Okay, it's amazing how fast that runs clear chemistry. So then I'm going to take a bottle, dark bottle. This just happens to be a dental bottle of Paradex from the dental office with a dental funnel. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And then, um, you know, I got this at the dollar store. It comes, you give you like a lot of them. So I feel so chemical. And then this is a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. It's at 3% and I've been told that it's already been diluted by water. So then if you dilute it with saline, it'll actually be even more dilute. So it's really safe to nebulize. So I'm used to nebulizing with 50% um, hydrogen peroxide, 50%, 3%, 50% volume of 3% hydrogen peroxide. So I'm gonna add one cup of each into my little storage bottle. But if you're beginning, maybe you should just do two thirds a uh, cup of hydrogen peroxide to the one cup of saline, just so you get used to it. But I'm surrounded by germs in close contact every day, so I need this. It's been working. By the way, um, it's been working really well for my gut too. Like one night when I was nebulizing, I swear, like I felt, I felt something really like therapeutic happening. 
like right, like in a real time. I wonder what that was. You know, the idea of leaky gut is actually kind of gross. So you have like half digested food particles um, entering your body from your intestines. That's just kind of gross. So, all right, so this bottle pretty much holds exactly um, the 50%. Oh, you can't see through that. And it's good that you can't see through that because, well, I mean, it's, to, it's supposed to be dark. There's a reason why this is a dark bottle, right? I think it's so that it doesn't degrade. So there you have it. And then um, you kind of take note of the, you know, when you, when you made it on a calendar or something, and then you just use it every night. So then most nebulizer uh, reservoirs will only hold about this much. So then every night you just take some out of your fridge. Oh, I also keep a lot of my face creams in the refrigerator. It feels really good. I mean, if you have any kind of inflammation, or, and also it keeps the chemicals nicely preserved if you have any kind of face cream that you want to just reduces puffiness and all sorts of stuff. So <sighs> there was this refrigerator with like special cold temperature for just face cream. But that is just a little bit overkill. So then every night you just measure out, you know, your 10 ml. I'm just going to pretend. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Not pretending. And then I guess I should go nebulize. And then you just put that in your reservoir and that's it. That's what you nebulize. You don't have to do any of this stuff again. So I I think that's so neat that they, there's that there's salt in there. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing good and um, stay well. Take care of yourselves and your gut. And next time I would, I think I'm gonna talk about tea. I think. <laughs>